Hello, I am Malgrim. This is the first video of this kind I have ever made, so please bear with me. I wanted to make this video on toxicity and role playing as an educational resource to share with people who might not have the experience to see the red flags when they pop up. When I started role playing in Final Fantasy XIV, I joined the first group I met. It was a free company that was called the Emberlight Tavern. In this group, I met the most toxic and manipulative guild leader I've ever met. Even with my experience, which is in the description of the video, I fell prey to this person's abuse, so I can only stress how easy it is for new and inexperienced role players to become victims to abusive communities. This video is for anyone. The topics of abuse extend to every facet of daily life. I ask you to heed my stories and be aware that these kinds of people exist. And for anyone who feels my stories hit too close to home or what I have to say makes you feel uncomfortable, please make sure to put your safety and happiness above all else. If you're not having fun in your roleplay, look at the people around you and consider what you're getting out of being around them. For now though, I'm going to show you some clips where I've spoken about the Amberlight Tavern on my Twitch podcast. I recounted the experience that I had shared with a friend of mine who was also in the group. We were able to reconnect with each other recently. Okay, so you want me to go into my story now? Now that we got the uh, professional side of the podcast done? Right, right. So. Okay. So, a while back, I did, we we had on the podcast, we did some horror, some community management horror stories. I did some night guild nightmare stories. It's, a, it's all up on the YouTube if you want to watch this. I'm actually going to do a compilation about this particular story that I'm going to go into here. Um, So, a while back I told the story about this guild or free company I was in in Final Fantasy XI when I first started do, to do roleplay on the server that I'm on now. Um, And this group... I'm finding out through friends that I've been in communication with recently. Did I say 11? I meant 14. My bad. <laughs> whatever. One of those game things. Whatever. One of those Final Fantasy like, things. They keep making yeah. more of them. It's not really. Uh, yeah, there's not so much for final. I know. Whatever. It's a really long finale. Um, And they keep changing the story. <laughs> and so... This this group I'm finding out is like the worst group the of people I've ever I've ever met. And 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 previously I talked about like the old Republic groups that I in that I had issues with and the you know Star Wars Galaxies groups I was in and had issues with. Like those groups like had their issues, but I can at least respect their players because they kept their toxicity to the purview of the game. Mm -hmm. This other group from from Final Fantasy fourteen though, I'm I'm actually going to I'm not gonna like censor myself or hide who they are because like this this is like a public service announcement warning. Uh they they were called the Emberlight Tavern. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> it, it, was, it was like a uh, a record screeching at the name, mm -hmm. or or a cat screaming in the background. <laughs> like every time you say you, you say the name of something, like a thunderbolt strikes, yeah. and everyone kind of looks around, like, "Huh, that was weird." <laughs> So, they, they were called the Emberlight Tavern. Let me say it again. The Emberlight Tavern. And the FC leader of the group at the time was one of the most um, manipulative and controlling people I think I've ever met. And I went to college with nursing students, so that's saying a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And so, the, some of the background of the story that I, I'll, I'll, re, I'll recap a bit of it. Um, basically, if you joined the group, um, she would make sure that 
you had no friends outside of the group. Like once you, once you were a part of the group, if you interacted with anyone outside of the group, you would basically get guilted. And until you basically broke broke ties with everyone else that you know. I guess go back to the port and then we'll run over to Telly's. And um so I I I I I had my cat girl cuz I always play cat girls whenever I can in a game. And I, it was it was a role play group, so it was about storytelling and creative writing and you know uh -huh. playing out the life of your character. And um at, and so my my character was a bard in story in character. Uh, uh -huh. She was a musician. She was a lawful good character. She was a cinnamon roll, like very innocent character, just just a sweetheart character who just wanted to make people happy, and just wanted you know, good and happiness for everyone around her. Uh -huh. So I get recruited into this group as it being supposed to be like a tavern type environment i'm like oh that's perfect she can be a stage performer she can you know do music even though we didn't have the music system yet in the game right. um but i could like role play out like her playing music and this the theater the of the imagination oh my god <laughs> and um Imagination. <laughs> Sorry, I, I just see like like <laughs> like rainbows appearing above your head. Um. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna edit this later. Um. <laughs> and so like, in so I joined this tavern thinking, oh yeah, it's gonna be a tavern. It's gonna be a bar. It's gonna be a stage performer. I, you like front of the house entertainment. Like really, mm -hmm. like I, I was really excited for that. And then I joined, and then I find out it's, like, uh, this underground, like, mercenary group type thing. Because, like, because of course it is. Because <laughs> of course. And, um... Like, and I'm like, okay, that's fine. Like, she can play, like, the role of the ignorant fool. You know, still be front of the house in the tavern and just kind of be, like, ignorant of, you know what's going on and maybe maybe get pulled into a mission here or there just to be like the you know uh you know has to sweet talk somebody not really knowing what's going on like that could be really fun and interesting no the the fc leader saw that i was a bard and went archer you can be a ranged assassin <laughs> right as your lawful good cinnamon roll and i'm just like Mm, I yeah, because I didn't know anyone on the server, and I just I just wanted to play ball, and I just wanted to have fun and hang out with people. I'm like, uh, okay, I guess. So I just kind of went with it, and but like one thing that I do with my characters is when I I don't know as much anymore, but when I have a character in a scenario that they're not particularly good at, I have the I I do dice rolls for them. It's usually a d twenty. You know, if they do relatively well, then they succeed. If it's you know half or below, then it's not so good. And like whenever she go like try to like shoot someone or have to like manipulate someone to get them to do something she wanted them to do like i'd roll i i do like pers you know persuasion checks or you know dexterity rolls or what whatever and most of the time she failed mm -hmm. and eventually it got to the point where the fc leader and her henchmen would like pull me to the side and send me tells or or pull me in a voice chat and be like do you do you enjoy your character failing their roles like is that is like like how dare you like ruin our story that we're trying to tell by by leaving it to random chance and i'm just like yeah i do it's fun <laughs> right and they got very very angry at me and like um 
we had one scene where I actually got a natural crit on a action that my character was highly trained to do. Uh-huh. And I I hammed out my, you know, description of what she did because I, because um they were on an airship going to cap like pirate capture a, a water ship that that uh-huh. that had been hijacked by pirates. And mm-hmm. they wanted my character to uh, snipe the crow's nest. Mm-hmm. And uh, one thing about my character is that she she's a spellcaster bard, so she actually has magic. So I wrote that mm-hmm. you know she used an uh, a wind a wind spell on her arrows that it could cut through the wind, so that she wouldn't have to calculate for wind drift or anything like that. Mm-hmm. And it crit, and I'm like, nice headshot, perfect. Mm-hmm. So I, I really wrote that up, and they're like, oh, you should, and they're like, you should do that more often. And I'm like, nah. If I roll well, then I'll do it. Like, right, right, uh, right. Yeah. And um, so like that, that was one of the like super controlling things that like should should have been a red flag from the start. I wanted to address the abuses of power in these clips. If the guild tells you that you cannot play with your friends because you have to play with the guild, there's an issue there. No one can tell you who you can and cannot RP with. This is a power move, and it is a red flag that you're in for a rough time. The other red flag mentioned in this clip is that I was forced into a role of the group that I did not want for my character. A group leader should make suggestions and give advice for how to interpret your RP to mesh into the group's RP. That's actually a very important thing to do to ensure that your character is able to participate in the group environment in an interesting way. However, that requires your consent. Now, my mistake with this group was that I gave my consent, even though later down the road, I wasn't okay with the scenarios I was given for my character. I couldn't give consent to those scenarios ahead of time because I was never told what kind of scenario I was going to be walking into until I was there. Another red flag for the group, looking back, was the guilt tripping. The leader wouldn't outrightly demand you to take your RP a particular way, but you knew you did something she didn't like because she would start guilt tripping you about your decisions and the way you played your character. Even though this wasn't overtly controlling, it was a very subtle way of railroading RP. If the group you're in are using the circumstances of the RP to take away your agency of your character, then it's something that needs to be addressed. Now, I do want to make clear that this video is for education. I do not condone attacking people, nor do I condone anyone using what I'm saying to cause pain to anyone I'm speaking about. This video is just the beginning. There will be more videos coming with more stories. And eventually, I'll get my friend who is involved in the group to join me and my co-host in voice chat. If you want to hear more of those stories, Please subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching so far.